afternoon. Welcome back to an absolutely beautiful sunny day here in the southwest of France. I feel like I'm saying that in every video. I think it's currently 27 degrees, which is what, 80 Fahrenheit? Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Although it was a bit chilly this morning. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been taking note of the temperature since about, I don't know, eight o'clock this morning. And uh, yeah, it's gone from like five degrees to, well, in the sun, 45, 48 degrees, which is uh, super hot, isn't it, in the sunshine? Uh, although I have just had my lunch outside and it was absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. The air temperature, nowhere near that, obviously, as I said, about 27 degrees. So uh, I thought I'd uh, come out and make a quick video, um, keep you up to date kind of thing. My uh, gimbal is buzzing away, so it's uh, not happy with the way the camera's balanced. Hopefully you're not picking that up on the, uh, on the video. Uh, I've actually brought some notes out with me because there's a few bits and pieces I was going to talk about. So yeah, this morning it was cold, um, five degrees outside, and I had condensation. I had condensation on my bedroom window. I didn't think you'd get condensation with a uh, dehumidifier up and running. What's that about? Uh, I've noticed with that dehumidifier that um, if I put it down to 60% humidity, it goes in 5% increments. So if I put it down to 60%, uh, yeah, it dries my lips out, dries my nose out, and doesn't really make me feel that good in the mornings if I've had it on that all night. So I'll have it on 65%, um, but as I said this morning, uh, condensation. Any tips? What am I doing wrong? Um, yeah, I'm walking up and down in the shade because uh, the sun is absolutely scorching. So uh, yeah, any tips about the condensation? No idea. Um, what I was gonna say, right couple of things. I've uh, ordered a couple of security lights um, for my side gate and um, well it was buy one get one half price kind of thing so um, and they weren't expensive I forget how much they were they weren't very dear about 20 odd pound I think um, so hopefully they'll be here early next week and they're solar rechargeable so yeah, we'll have a little play I'm surprised I didn't get offered something like that to do a um, like a promotional video it's the sort of thing that um, uh, us YouTubers tend to get offered. Uh, so yeah, that should make me feel a little bit more comfortable. Well, I've got extra locks on my side gate now, and I've put some timber up around the back so people can't come over my side fence either. So uh, I don't really live in Fort Knox. I really don't. That's not what I signed up for. So I want to get comfortable living here. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I've made a bit of a mistake. Not really a mistake, but I should have asked the builder. You know the builder that came out the other day to talk about my chimney and uh, wood stoves? Uh, he said he was going to drop off or post a quote to me next week. But you know what? I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him that if I was happy to go ahead with the work, when could he do it? That was a bit daft, wasn't it? Because, you know, a lot of tradesmen in France, you know, they're six months booked up or a year even, depending what you want done. So even if I do agree to his quote, whatever that might be, it could be, um, it could be, you know, 500 euros, it could be 5,000 euros, couldn't it, as I've said before. Um, yeah, if he can't do it until after the winter, then kind of, kind of pointless, isn't it? So I've been um, doing some uh, work in the garden and I've been uh, recording it for my other YouTube channel. And um, yeah, I need a little bit of advice. I don't know if you're the right people to ask, <laughs> but I don't know anyone else. Um, so obviously it's a new channel and I kind of want to start as I mean to go on. I know that's almost impossible because if you look at this channel, it's kind of changed and things are a bit different uh, the way I do things. And obviously things evolve, don't they? But I want to know how long to make these videos, these garden videos, because it's not a gardening channel. I'm just sort of showing people around the garden and showing people what I'm doing, messing about with plants. Uh, food, you know, fruit and veg and seeds and things like that. Um, but the worst thing I want to do is create a boring channel. Do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking like 10 or 15 minute videos. Some people like half an hour garden videos, don't they? And how long should I spend working in the video? Do you know what I mean? If I'm sort of weeding a flower bed, which is actually what I'm doing, um, do you want to watch me weeding a flower bed for 10 minutes, for 30 seconds? Uh, normally, uh, when I'm when I'm doing a job, what you actually get to see, a scene or a shot or a clip, 
are between two and six seconds. I know that doesn't seem very long. Um, and obviously when I'm walking up and down a field like this, they're like between six minutes and 15 minutes, aren't they? Uh, so yeah, when I'm actually shooting something like, um, what was I doing the other day? I was uh, up the ladder, wasn't I? So yeah, each clip generally tends to be quite short. Um, so yeah, I wanna get better at the video making. I kind of feel like um, I want to make YouTube more of a thing of my life. Uh, in my life, I, I quite, I quite enjoy it, and the more I do it, the more, more I'm enjoying doing it. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you want to see. I'll, you know, I, I won't, you know, I won't prescribe the channel by what you say, but just to be good to get an idea of what people expect, because I'm quite sure a lot of my, uh, a lot of my viewers on this channel will watch that channel just out of curiosity but i have been told people don't like gardening and they won't watch my other channel which is fine totally fine which is why i make it a, a separate channel about the garden anyway so as always i've got a uh, i've got an apple in my pocket for david and um yeah let's go and give him it how we doing fella bit toasty out here mate bit toasty out here going to be even warmer tomorrow. Would you like an apple, sir? So over the past few weeks, I've had uh, a few people ask me the question, um, why are you single? <laughs> like uh, like there's some rule that I should be uh, I should be married or in a relationship um, so <laughs> I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd explain <laughs> so uh, yeah I've been single uh, for about more well, nearly 10 years nine or ten years and uh, yeah I've had um, like a few odd girlfriends they were odd as well in between uh, but nothing serious um, so yeah, what I've done in my life, I think what you do as you get older, you realise what's good for you and makes you, you know, puts you in a good place and um, what's not good for you. And when you work out what's not good for you, you kind of, um, you kind of stop doing it or you, dro you strive to stop doing it, if you can. And uh, I'm not saying that relationships are not good for me. Um, it's possible that I'm not particularly good at them. Uh, there are some people that um, watch my videos that actually know me. And um, I think I think it's tricky now. I think it's uh, tricky to meet people now. Um, most uh, most relationships now are sort of found online, aren't they? Uh, or founded online, I should say. Um, and I think that's, um, that's getting ever more tricky. I think you find, you may find yourself, if you're in the dating game, which I was for a long time, that... Um, even if you do meet someone that you kind of like, that person may still be looking as well. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know when you lose your car keys and you put them on the side next to the front door so you know where they are? You don't carry on looking, do you? Because you've already found them? Yeah, I found that um, even though some people had found their car keys, they put them by the front door, but they carried on looking for them, if you know what I mean. So that, after a while, gets a bit old and uh, you kind of realize that you're wasting a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of money when you could be doing something that's far more gratifying and brings far more pleasure so yeah i decided to uh, retire from that game and uh, play this game instead <laughs> and uh, so far so good i have to say and uh, there's not very much i miss about it if i'm honest um but yeah, won't go into detail. But um, also, I don't think I would have achieved so much, even though sometimes I think I've not achieved too much over the last 18 months. I don't think I would have achieved so much in the last 18 months in France with this house and this property if I'd have been trying to um, maintain a relationship with someone. I don't, think, I don't think I could. I mean, there are people that are doing it all over the world, you know. Uh, they work well as a couple um, and they have the same goals. I think if you've got the same goals and same ideas, then fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's how I feel about that. But I've been um, I've been abstaining from all sorts over the last ten years. About ten years ago, I stopped drinking, and I used to drink. I used to drink a fair bit. I'd I'd have a beer most evenings after work, um, and very rarely now 
do I miss beer? People say to me, oh, you moved to France, but you don't drink wine. No, I don't, but um, yeah, as I say, it's not really a big issue. I've never smoked, I've never done drugs. Um, and yeah, those that have been watching the channel for quite a while uh, would think possibly that I, I still have quite a sweet tooth, which I kind of do. But about six months ago, I, uh, I stopped eating chocolate, and uh, which is a big deal because I used to eat quite a lot of chocolate. I, I could quite easily eat four or five Twix bars a day or Mars bars. And uh, yeah, realized not long after I got to France that I've definitely got issues with food, which I have talked about in the past. And uh, yeah, there's lots of things that don't agree with me. Uh, lots of things are possibly pre-diabetic. Most people are pre-diabetic nowadays. Um, so yeah, I realized that sugar and sweets not doing me a lot of good. So I have cut down a lot and I need to cut down more. So my plan is, well, my plan is just to work on my diet overall. Uh, this morning I woke up with terrible pins and needles in my hands, and that's after eating chips last night. And the reason I got pins and needles after eating chips last night is because the oil that I cooked them in, which is uh, canola oil, uh, doesn't agree with me. And I already know that. And I'm daft enough to carry on cooking with it sometimes, I just, just forget. So I've got to try and cut down on the potatoes. And the bread in France, the bread in France does me no good whatsoever. I think I made a video, is it earlier in the year or last year? Uh, and at the time, might have been last summer, at the time I was eating quite a lot of burgers, a lot of hamburgers, and the buns that I was buying, my God, they made me feel ill. So yeah, I think wheat, I need to start cutting back on wheat. We know, we know now that wheat and seed oils, like sunflower oil and canola oil, uh, are inflammatory. Uh, so if you've got um, arthritis or other inflammation in your body, it's probably caused or aggravated by wheat and sugar. So if you can cut out wheat and sugar, your arthritis will get better. But let's face it, who cuts down on their sugar? It's almost impossible to do, it's highly addictive. The same with wheat. Very, very difficult to take wheat out of your diet. So that's my plan, my plan over the next six months. I managed to do it with chocolate, I don't eat any chocolate now. And uh, if you'd have said to me 10 years ago that I'd be single and happily single, I'd have thought you were mad. And if you'd have said, oh, you won't drink beer either, uh, and I used to like a Jack Daniels, I'd, I'd, again, I'd have said you were mad. So I'm quite capable of abstaining. I'm quite headstrong. And uh, I do think us humans are capable of far more than we, uh, actually, we actually do. Um, so yeah, my plan is to cut wheat and sugar almost completely out of my diet over the next six months to a year. So that's what I'm uh, planning on doing. Anyway, I'd love to hear your comments below uh, on the subject. Uh, yeah, a few bits and pieces you could tell me about uh, after this little video. Uh, yeah, I think I'll leave it there. See you later.